Over the last few years, a lot of people have been talking about manganese, that, oh my goodness, we got a manganese problem because Roundup's tying up all the manganese. Let me just first say, uh, from what we found in our studies, that's a bunch of hokum, okay? We've done a whole bunch of tests <laughs> with super ridiculous, crazy high rates of Roundup and still haven't found any shortages of manganese. But what really is going on is across the board, a lot of farmers actually are a little short of manganese to start with. There isn't enough in the soil. So take a look at your soil test. It's not the Roundup that's causing the problem. It's the fact that you didn't fertilize with manganese. So when we're speaking about manganese, it is a micronutrient. The first key is just to find out what you have. As Brian is mentioning with the soil test, take a good complete soil test so you can actually see what you have. Now, just because you may have some on a soil test, you still need to find out with plant tissue analysis if you're getting it into your crop. And if you're curious about this whole Roundup thing, here's what we encourage you to do. Go pull some plant tissue analysis, then spray your Roundup after it, and then pull plant tissue analysis again and see, did it really change my manganese levels in my crop? Here's what we're looking for in the soil test is 20 to 40 parts per million on a Midwest lab soil test. Please understand every soil lab does extractions different and we want that number to be less than iron. Okay, it doesn't have to be a lot, just less than iron. That's kind of what we're shooting for. With the plant tissue analysis, we just want to find our manganese in the normal range, not completely deficient. So you can certainly treat the soil, you can do some foliar feeding. It all depends on how short you actually are on manganese. The cheapest way to get it's going to be manganese sulfate if you need to apply a bunch to the soil. Otherwise, there are many different forms of manganese and different blends of products that have manganese in them. There are a number of functions within the plant that manganese is very important for, and that's the thing with these micronutrients. They aren't the key building blocks for building a great big tall plant, but they are very important in the functions within the plant. Like in photosynthesis, for example, magnesium happens to be the center of that chlorophyll molecule, but manganese is also very important with photosynthesis. The other thing I should mention too, when we're looking at many of the micronutrients, manganese included, is once they're in the plant, they're gonna stay where they're put because they're so important for the functions going on. So as your plant grows taller and puts new growth on, if you can't find enough manganese in the soil, it's gonna express itself in the upper part of the plant. Here's another reason I believe many people talk about, hey, I put on Roundup and now I see this manganese deficiency. Okay, well, yeah, it's at the top of the plant. And you know what? There's plenty of manganese down in the lower part of the plant, but it doesn't move within the plant. So once it's in those lower leaves, it stays there. The upper leaves, you've got to pull more manganese in if you want to have enough for them. Well, once again, manganese is tremendously important in the plant. It's not magnesium we're talking about today. It's manganese. It's a micronutrient. Test your soil for it and get plant tissue analysis as well. Well, you don't need any plant tissue analysis to determine what our weed of the week is, but we will show you how to stop it coming up next.